Okay, hi. So what I want to show you now is how to connect a database to eMedia. Um, an Excel spreadsheet with uh, data in it and connecting it to eMedia CS. That's what we're about to do. So let's jump right in. I'm going to open up Excel. Um, and I'm just going to I'm just going to quickly make a very simple database. So I'm going to start off with something like person name, person position, person number, um, and let's go person, if they have a special barcode for them to enter the premises, um, let's go person photo. And that's it. So there we have fields uh, for our database. Um, just make sure that you do not use a field like ID. This will cause an error within eMedia. Also, do not use a field called name. Always use something like person name or um, emp employee name or anything um, other than just plain name or just plain ID. You can have uh, person ID, but not just plain ID. Okay, that's just something to keep in mind. So person name, person position, employee number, barcode, person photo, Okay, so let's jump right in. I'm just going to put in a few, a bit, bit of dummy data. Okay, so I've just, um, I've just entered a random bunch of details here. And now I've just completely made up these uh, heading names. And they're, notice they're in the first row. And I've got a person name, Harry Potter, Stephen Yun, yada, 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 person position. I've got employee numbers. I've got person barcodes. So let's go ahead and save this. I'm just going to quickly um, save as. I'm going to go to my desktop. And on my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm just going to call this example project. Example project. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to create a new folder called databases. Now, this is just my workflow and how I like to work. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it however you want. Although I find this keeps things in order, it keeps it nice and neat. I'm going to keep, I'm going to go in there, databases, and I'm going to call this um, person uh, db1. Let's just call it person db1. And I'm going to save that. Cool. And now it's saved, and I can exit. Now I'm going to open up eMedia CS. Cool. And we're open. So let's go into the design area. Um, and let's throw together a quick card, something very simple. First of all, I'm just quickly putting this together. If you were doing this for real, I would uh, recommend you watch the advanced eMedia card design tutorial just to find what I think is the best workflow for getting a really, really nice looking card. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just throwing it together just to... Um, just to have an example, just to just to give us an idea of what's happening. So, so don't take this as the design rule of thumb. Notice that I write this as one word over here. If I were to make it two words, it would give me an error. Um, it's because this is kind of like the ID for the thing, for the for the text box, and it has to be one word. So person uh, number, I mean person position. Right, so I'm happy with that design. Um, you can go and fidget with it later, but uh, but for now this is good. So let's connect a database to this to uh, this card. Before I do that, I quickly want to save this. Uh, I quickly want to save this um, ca this card under my example project, and I'm just create. A, I'm just going to create a new folder and call it templates. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to say it, uh, I'm going to call it uh, company template 
one. Save. So now we're saved. We've just designed the card. We've got a we've got a basic thing going here. So let's connect it the Excel spreadsheet. To do that, um, you can't be in the print area and connect to a database. You have to be in the design area. And what you do is you click on Tools. You click on Connect to Database. Now, if you have the Standard Edition, only these two options should be available. I have the Professional Edition activated, and so therefore I have all the database connectivity options. But for now, let's just connect using an Excel, a Microsoft Excel worksheet. I'm going to click on Next. I'm going to quickly locate that file where we saved it on the desktop. Uh, example project, databases, person database one, open. There it is. I click on next. Don't worry about this screen. This is just for authentication purposes. Don't worry about it. I click next. I select sheet one. That's where all the data is. I want to be able to modify, add, and delete records. So I'm going to select all of those. I click on next. Here are the fields that I added earlier. And I want to display them all and I want to be able to edit them all. I want to go next and finish. And now we are connected to the database. But now you have to go tell eMedia which fields in the database will correspond to which fields on the card. Uh, because how will it know that to put the person position there and the person name there and the person number there? So here we go. Let's do that quickly. Um, let me click on person on the CEO. And as we know, this is the person position. Let's go down on the source uh, list and click on database field. After database field, we can go click on uh, person position. So we know person position is going to be there, uh, name and surname. And we can go database field and person name. This over here will also be a database field. And it will be a person. Uh, uh, let's click on barcode. Uh, database field, I'm going to click on barcode. Cool, and we've connected most of the things now. Uh, finally, uh, we have to connect the photo. So it's going to be an image type picture. The picture is going to be from there. And I want to say uh, the picture should be a database field as a path to a file. And the database field will be person photo. And the file naming will be auto. So let's just, let's just stick with that right now. I'm just going to say here person photo as the object name and we're good to go and now it's connected let's go file save uh, let's go over to the print area and as you can see we've got our database connected those are the things that I entered into the Excel spreadsheet I've got a student Harry Potter uh, person number and we've got the ID we've got the barcode already being translated into barcode language um, let's attach a photo to this card right now. You want to go to edit this record. So we've got the student and we've, we're editing the record right now. Here's the person photo thing. And if I click on acquire picture, it'll open up my webcam. And here I am. Oh, that's me. And, uh, and you want to have the person look at the, the camera and you want to take the picture. And there we go. Uh, that's a very flattering photo, but there it is. So that's about it and I can go and save that and it should now be connected to that field in my database let me go to the next person I just want to show you how I did that you want to go to tools options and you want to edit your acquisition source so I want to make my acquisition source a video for Windows now you can select any of these options um, you can select something like folder supervision, for instance, so that um, when you want to get a picture, it's waiting for a photo to uh, go to be put in that folder. Maybe if you're taking it off a camera or or something like that. Um, or you can go for Twain. Twain is um, is, a, is a is a kind of software that uses uh, an external camera or a camera on your computer, which you go and can go and select the camera here. But um, but what works for me right now is window for vid video for Windows. Um, and it uses my my webcam on my computer to capture a photo um, and so I'm gonna press OK and then when I'm editing this field and I click on the little photo thing it launches my webcam and there I am and I just want to position myself and here we go and that is a more flattering photo uh, of the guy giving this tutorial you didn't expect that did you alright so there it is 
I'm going to save this record and there we go. And we have two photos connected. And it's as simple as that really. So you can connect everyone else in this, um, in this database. Before I end this tutorial, I would like to show you something. So now I have, um, I've done this, I can go print these cards easy peasy. Just a quick note on how to print them all at once. I can go file, print all, or I can go to this little search button. I can go to records and I could say print from record two to record five. I know that I have five records, so I can print from record two to record five and I can just click print and it'll print um, those four cards, two, three, four, and five. Cool. Um, let me show you one final thing before the tutorial is over. I'm going to exit eMedia and I just want to I just want to go into this little sample project databases into this person database and show you that these these are the two photos that I just took. So they're stored under users public pictures eMedia CS and there they are. So they they get named and they get stored in in your person photo um, column as you take them. So that's quite a nice little setup that you can have there. So what I could do now is I could duplicate this field and and now all these people have the same photo. Uh, or I can go put folders, I can go put fo photos in this folder and rename them to be whatever I want to be. So if I've got a picture in there called Clarissa, it'll just pick that picture up and it'll be connected to the database. So if you have a thousand pictures and the name of the person matches up to the name of the photo, the name of the person matches up to the name of the photo, you can put the path to the photo in this field and then it will just be automatically connected to your eMedia. It's as simple as that. Um, one final thing before we are done, let me just save this quickly and exit there. I just want to open eMedia again and here's a nifty little trick. You just go to File, Recent Files, and I'll just open up that template that I just had. And as you can see here, um, all those photos are the same where the photo was connected. I changed the word Clarissa. Uh, and obviously there's no photo called Clarissa in that folder. Um, just a quick note, let's create a new record. So what this will do is we can add in a new record quickly. Person number, um, position is um, director. And the name is um, Steven Spielberg, like that. And I can go and quickly grab a photo for this guy, Steven Spielberg. Do my good side. Cool. And there's Steven. And we can quickly save that. And there we go. So now Steven is added to the database. And let's quickly uh, just save and exit. And if I now go back to my database and I open that up, you'll see that Steven Spielberg has been added um, to the database. And it's that simple. So you can, if you have an event company or if you have some sort of thing where people are going to come one by one and you want to add them one by one, this is a nice way to add them all to a database, get their photos. If anyone ever loses a card, you can quickly look them up and print their cards again. And it's as simple as that. And that is how you connect an Excel spreadsheet to a um, e-media template and um, and there we go